Andrew Lloyd Webber, a British institution and the most powerful man in Theatreland, has a major problem on his hands. He's about to cast the biggest show of the year and take the biggest gamble of his 30-year career. I've always tried to take risks in the theatre whenever I can. He's looking for a leading lady for his stage production of The Sound of Music, and he's got very specific ideas of what his Maria should be. I believe that all the productions of The Sound of Music in the past have cast a girl too old. It's a colossal gamble. He wants to give the role to a complete unknown. I mean, what's four million pounds in my reputation? <laughs> and he's putting that reputation on the line by letting you decide who gets to play the role of Maria von Trapp. She's only got to be funny, she's only got to be able to act, she's only got to be able to sing. It's quite simple, guys. We're just, looking, we're, we're just looking for a star, that's all. I know I can do it. I just want the chance. You're not Maria. Next. 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 Of course I'm worried. It's four million pounds in my reputation. A self-confessed bit of an odd fish, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber has turned tyrannical creative single-mindedness into an art form. And with 16 of the world's best-loved musicals and an estimated £700 million to his name, there's no doubting he's been doing something right all these years. But he's not a man to shy away from a risk. After all, he courted biblical wrath by bringing the Old Testament to a whole new audience. And he even persuaded uber diva Elaine Page to slip into a cat suit. There's no doubting the man likes to gamble, but this time he certainly won't be holding the aces. <laughs> of course I'm worried, but I'm excited about it because I do think it's completely new and I've always tried to take risks in the theatre whenever I can. Andrew's on the hunt for a leading lady for his new multi-million pound production, The Sound of Music at the London Palladium. And as always, he's determined to do it his own way. I believe that all the productions of The Sound of Music in the past have cast a girl too old. He wants a complete unknown to play the coveted role of Maria. Originally, I talked it through with Scarlett Johansson who of course ticked every box because she is only 20 and she loves Rodgers and Hammerstein. She was very interested in playing but then the movie career really was so huge that it wasn't really possible. So with no Scarlet and three months till curtain up, Andrew is desperate for a brand new star and he's trusting you to find her. I would hope that when people vote that they do realise that they've got to think of the kid too, that she's really got to be able to stand up there, make us, make us really believe that it was worth all this effort. I mean, it, this could be the biggest, biggest train crash you've ever seen in, in uh, your life. Let's hope not. But with so much at stake and such a momentous task ahead, it's not going to be easy. It's May 2006, the biggest year of Andrew's career so far. He has three major musicals opening within months of each other. He's on his way to meet the people he has appointed to help him in his search for Maria. The panel is led by his co-producer, David Ian. Well, I think that the panel that I've put together is going to work very well because David Ian was a professional actor himself. Uh, one or two of the musicals he prefers to keep dark that he was in because uh, he understudied Cliff Richard in time. Maria, truly for me, has got to be somebody who's got a real personality. Oh, yeah. John Barrowman, of course, is a professional actor and a wonderful singer, but he'll bring that, I think, to the whole party. You have to treat yourself like an athlete because if you don't, the people who are coming in and paying £55 or more to see you are being cheated. Of course, Zoe, she will bring 
uh, the, the qualities that we need in the sense that she's a great vocal coach. This is huge. Apart from her two hours intensive singing lessons with me, she's got her dancing, her drama, and we're talking about a life change. I've always tried to take risks in the theatre whenever I can. It's, it's going to be fascinating. Whatever happens, it's going to be a great ride. The panel's joint experience makes them the best in the business to help him select the ten girls from which the public will choose their Maria. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Andrew. You're all looking very happy. Oh, yes, very good. Great, great. Very well, good. we won't be soon because we've got a huge <laughs> task ahead of us, as you know. We've got to find a Maria for The Sound of Music and uh, we've got to find an extraordinary, extraordinary girl. Mm. I believe that all the productions of The Sound of Music in the past have cast a girl too old. Mm. The first lyric we hear in the whole show uh, is she climbs a tree and scrapes her knee, her dress has got a tear. I want a girl who you can believe does exactly that. And that means that we're talking for, you know, about somebody I would think of about anything between 18 to 21. Because I can't think of anybody in the profession of that age, of that age who could do this Absolutely. role. What we don't want to see a girl who's what we might call conventional musical theatre. We want to find somebody who's fresh, exciting, original, and who really will bring into the theatre something that we've not seen before. David has also invested millions and is anxious to find the right Maria, but for more practical reasons. Yeah, Andrew, I completely agree with you in terms of the talent that we're looking for, but the big thing to me is that she's got to appeal to the public. This person's absolutely got to sell tickets. And I have to look at it from the aspect of being someone who's in shows, and there's nothing worse than being a leading man on stage, and your leading lady starts to sing a song, and you just know she's not going to make it. Our job is to find ten people for the public to vote well, on. Um, but. They will I be hope there. We can find they one, will be let there. Alone 10. There's somebody working in a shop right now that's saying, "I am Maria. Yeah. I, I've always been Maria. This is my chance. This is what I've been waiting for my life. She's there." So what I want you to do is to go out and find now the girls who were going to whittle down to that final ten. She's only got to have <laughs> the most fantastic character. She's only got to be funny. She's only got to be able to act. She's only got to be able to sing, and she's only got to be able to dance. It's quite simple, guys. We're just. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. just looking for a star, that's all. Yes. Yeah. Quite simple. Not a lot to ask. Terrific. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, folks. How do you solve a problem like Maria? I think climb every mountain is better. In his determination to find fresh talent, Andrew holds open auditions around the country, where trained singers will audition alongside shop girls. Let's join the end of the It's an outrageous risk that has already shocked the theatre world to its core. I just like taking risks. Come on, why not? Because, I mean, if we do find a girl, then everybody will say, well, of course, it was easy, really, you know, they obviously knew that there were a few girls around. We have no clue. The nationwide auditions begin and attract thousands. The panel can't meet them all, so Andrew sends a hand-picked team of casting directors who have helped him find stars in every musical from Phantom to Joseph to Starlight Express. It's their job Rush. to separate the divas from the dross. Thankfully, they're not all completely in bomb trap. But only 200 girls will be selected to meet the panel, and precious few are anywhere near the right caliber. Began to dance with me. I could have danced, danced, danced all night. It's three weeks into the search, and Andrew is stretching himself way too thin. With Phantom opening in Vegas and Evita opening in London, he can't focus his attentions on Maria. I think we could get rid of those violins. News from the auditions is not promising. The girls are just not up to scratch, and they've got huge shoes to fill. Julie Andrews gave a fantastic performance that is sort of iconic, but that's Julie Andrews, and my point about the whole thing is that we've got to find a Maria who is that much younger so that the story is that much more daring. Andrews' casting directors are left in no okay. doubt of his mounting concern. Believe me, everything is fine, and you have got a Maria there. I know, I mean, the Look, I know you're really concerned. I know you're worried. 
The team have seen 6,000 potentials and picked only 100 Marias. Andrew is worried. Three days before the auditions are due to finish, he demands to see the tapes. The hills are alive with the sound of music. But there are tons of, tons of people who sing like that. Sort of, for me, a bit bland. Okay, that's cool. I understand that. So this is who I am. I am so sorry about last night. I don't know if you would listen. Don't quite get that one. Eight of us, eight of us. Lost there, I'm afraid. Baffled. With four million pounds at stake and his reputation on the line, Andrew decides he needs to see for himself how things are going. He arrives unannounced at the London auditions. Right, hi girls. Nice to see you. Are you all ready? I just said, can you imagine if Andrew had ever walked to the door? And he did. <laughs> just walked to the door. Andrew's leading lady will have to perform in front of 2,000 people every night of the week. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's crucial she'd be able to entertain an audience of all ages. Now, this is my little daughter, Bella. So yes. Say hello to Bella. Bella, you say hello. I want you to make Bella laugh. OK. Be a clown. Just be silly. OK. Now, you're just making all these kids, they, they think you're crazy. So you just make them laugh. OK. Have a go. Make me laugh. <laughs> then set the alarm to the billy goat. You lay, you lay, you lay. Hee -hoo. What's a life for a girl and goat herd? Lay or lay or loo. Soon her mama with a gleaming gloat herd. Lay or lay or lay hee What to do it for a girl and goat herd? Lay or lay or loo. Yeah, now have you done any acting? Yes. <laughs> Aha, as one does. Great, well, it's lovely to see you. Thank okay, you very much. OK, great. All thank right, you thank so you. much. Bye bye. Bye. She could be funny, <laughs> couldn't she? <laughs> Enter 22-year-old Phoebe. Has she got what Andrew is looking for? She's certainly familiar. Let's relax. Forget all about us. And just be that wonderful, wonderful moment in the show where you're just, just singing your heart out, OK? OK. And let, where, let's, let's give her a note, come on. La, da, um, that is much too low. Da 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 mm. oh, That's where you want to be. Okay. La da da. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. That's lovely. That's lovely. Thank you very All right. much. Take Thank care. You. Great to meet you. Take care. Bye bye. I mean, she looks absolutely gorgeous, but her voice doesn't sort of really do that much, does it? So close, and yet so far. But as Andrew's dream turns to despair, enter 19-year-old Leanne, a shop girl from Essex. When you're ready. When you find that once again you long to take your heart back and be free. If you ever find a moment, spare a thought for me. Gosh, well done. Thank you. Where did that voice come from? I don't know. I'm glad I've got it, though. <laughs> That's very good. When you say you've had no training at all, is that really true? Nobody? Um, I've actually taught myself to sing classically. I've taught myself to sing in Italian, German and French. I grew up on your musicals, basically. You've got a, you've got a really good voice, a good basic instrument, you know, and you need to be with somebody, really, who can help you develop it. Thank you very much. And that means so much to hear I from will. you. 
definitely right, have you fine. on the list. All right, darling. We'll speak to you a bit, bit later. All right. Thank well done for much. that. Yeah. Bye. So where are these girls keeping themselves then? It's very surprising. Andrew Webber says that I've got a very promising career. Um, he's told me that I've got the ability and spirit to do anything that I want to do. Um, and that he just wants me to find the right people to help me along the way. Thank goodness for Essex shop girls. It seems there are some diamonds in the dust after all. Bye bye. A partially reassured Andrew reluctantly manages to tear himself away, leaving his team to do what they do best. Within days, they have 200 girls to take to the panel. As for Andrew, well, he's happy. For now. In two weeks' time, just 20 girls will be invited into the exclusive world of Andrew Lloyd Webber. Following in the footsteps of every West End starlet he's ever worked with, they will perform in Andrew's personal theatre in the grounds of his country estate. I sometimes think to myself, what am I doing when we've had, you know, Elaine Page and we've had Sarah Brightman and we've had, you know, and people right at the top of their profession here. They'll have to sing in front of a specially invited audience of agents, theatre critics and celebrities. There's going to be a lot of sobbing this afternoon. A lot, a lot of sobbing. <laughs> From there, he'll pick just ten. Touch the one you want to keep. <laughs> oh. But then, it's over to you to choose just one girl to win that life-changing role. But singing for Scylla is still a long way off. Back in London, our final 200 young Marias must first perform in front of Andrew's expert panel. Leading man John Barrowman, vocal coach Zoe Tyler, and the show's co-producer David Ian. It's just not a normal audition. You know, you haven't got a desk in front of you. Well, you have, but it's up there and there are spotlights and the lights go down and it's very, very um, exciting. And so it's hard to treat it like another audition and I'm really kind of, I'm very nervous. Andrew has put huge pressure on the panel. They have just one day to choose 50 girls to go on to further training at Maria School. First up to perform in front of the panel and her rivals is Sarah, a 17-year-old A-level student from North Yorkshire. Sarah, hi. Hello. Nervous? <laughs> yes. Well, oh, don't be, don't be, don't be. We only want you to do absolutely brilliant in your own time. <laughs> I peer through windows Watch life go by, dream of tomorrow, and wonder why the past is holding me, keeping life at bay. I wander lost in yesterday. Okay, Sarah, great. I thought that you looked really vulnerable, and I thought you did a good job. <laughs> I think you've got a really lovely soprano voice it's very young sounding um and i love you've got a lovely vibrato i'm looking at you here at, on the monitor and also from a point of view of like an audience member you're very stiff you're you need to loosen okay. up quite a bit and also there's some expressions that when you sing there's some facial things going on that aren't so nice to, okay. to look at which we need to work on also yeah you're the first person of the day, the first person of the whole 200 we've got to see. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you. Sarah, you could be Maria. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're through to the next round. Thank you. <laughs> next. Is this making you more nervous or less yes, nervous? Yes, considerably more. <laughs> <laughs> so, with Sarah going through to the next stage, the pressure is on the other girls. There is now one less space for them at Maria School. And with only one day to find 49 more qualifiers, the panel really do have their work cut out for them. I think I'm going to call you back. You could be Maria. Hey! Amongst the Marias in waiting are girls who've only had a handful of singing lessons. Hi, Laura. How are you doing? Others are from performing arts schools. Hello, Anna. How are you? And some who've already sung in the West End. Hello, Sherry. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. But nobody is guaranteed a place at Maria School because Andrew is looking for nothing but the best. I have to say, you walked on strong, confident, if you give yeah. yourself your yeah. note and go for it in okay. your own time. I only know when he began to dance with me I could have done Gosh, 
gosh, I think there's a couple of window panes just gone here around the back of the stair. I'm not wearing glasses. In there, don't worry. For me, that uh, uh, it was a little bit manic. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to just give us two lines of uh, the sound of music. Maria's just, yeah. you know, coming over I the mean, top of the mountain. I tend to sing that song. Sorry to interrupt you. That is the way I tend to sing that song. But uh, as I say, I can sort of yeah. vary it for. Well, for other things, understood. So. We want to see a variation right. of that. Okay, okay. Yeah. so a nice, calm the Maria. Our hills are alive with the sound of music. With songs they have sung for a thousand years. Okay, Deep. Natasha. Have you, have you worked? Yeah, well, I've got down to recalls and stuff for Christine in Phantom. Okay, Zoe. I would say yes to you because I... I think there's something great. Really? Yeah, I do. I just wasn't as blown away as I'd expect to be with somebody who's got that kind of experience. No, I'm sorry, it didn't do it for me. I'm not going to put you through. Next. <laughs> um, oh, God, I don't know what to say. That's no, just, no, it's all right. That's show business, darling. <laughs> oh. The panel know that Andrew wants to find a new kind of performer. And I shall be rainbow. Colours. You know what? I'm over Rainbow High. You're not Maria. Trained singers are not necessarily right for the part. Next. I'm ashamed that I've been trained and I should be able to walk through it and I can't. Um. Um. Yeah, and I really wanted it. <laughs> so, of course, I'm upset. But whatever the girls experience, the panel are very clear of what they are looking for. John wants a girl that would light up the stage. You're striking, you, you're a, a good actress when you sing. You've got some star quality yeah. going there for me. Zoe wants a pure sound she can polish. I like you. I think you've got a lot of potential, and I'd like you to come to Maria's school so I can explore your high voice, because I like your personality. I think you're fun. I'd love to work with you. And having invested millions already, David wants a girl to make his money back in ticket sales. Hi, Ellie. Hi, there. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Great. Now I shouted from the highest hills. Ellie, you're the best person I've seen today. I'm the producer of this show and I'm putting you through. I thought you were absolutely beautiful in every way. Thank you so much for coming to see us. Well, you we, could well be Maria. We'd agree. <laughs> it's just as well. <laughs> Next. David's Maria would evidently have to be a charmer. You won't admit you love me. And charm him, and they so did. Can't get a man with a gun. I, I don't think you'd need a gun to get a man myself. You look absolutely <laughs> stunning. I'm you finding that I'm being swayed me. because you've got such a pretty face and huge eyes, which always uh, works for me. If I said Melise, is that right? Oh! I can feel the testosterone sitting here. It's like it's going crazy. Oh, do anything else. Yeah, it's working <laughs> here. It's working <laughs> here. I, I know David's you looking at me and we have the same so. thought. It's again... Oh, I'm not sure, John. <laughs> <laughs> Next into the spotlight is 21-year-old Siobhan, a fashion student from Stafford. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Siobhan. Hello. How are you doing? I'm OK, thank you. Good, gosh. good. Why do you say gosh? How pretty are you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can't bear you. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> fine. No, no, that's so fine. <laughs> OK. We need to uh, hear whether you <clears throat> sing as lovely as you look in your own time. Wishing you were somehow here again Wishing you were somehow near Sometimes it seemed if I just dreamed Somehow you would be here. Ooh. Thank you. OK, shivers up the um, spine there, I have to say. Um, that was as beautiful as you were, I think. Um, thank you very much. Zoe, um, did that... Such an old slime ball to over the years. Your well, natural well. persona to us is a beautiful woman that's appeared between the R and I in Maria um, and your serene and your beauty is one of much serenity. But... <laughs> and there is a but here, OK? Yeah. There is a tomboy in Maria, OK? okay. There is fun. Yeah. A, Could we explore the tomboy over dinner? Takes the curtains from the windows and makes clothes for all the captain's children. Yeah. Maybe you know? just take yeah. your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just strip it away. 
Do it slowly while you sing. Um, so show me something nutty. Show me, show me the bonkers, you. Oh God! I want you to just fling your arms and let yourself go. At the moment, it's all very serene and model-like. Yeah. yeah. Break what, that Take your shoes off a minute. Okay. Take your shoes off a minute. We want, we want to. We <gasps> and want... they're flat as well. I can't bear you. Come yeah. on. Fling your arms. Just give it to us. Let's okay. see a change now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night and still have begged for more. I could have spread my wings and done a thousand things I'd never done before. I'll never know what made it so exciting, why all at once my heart took flight. I only See you doing this. I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, I want to hear the last the note. Answer. You hit this last note, you're going through. I only know when he began to dance with me. I could have danced, danced, danced. All night. She is going to Maria. Straight school. through. Absolutely fantastic. Through. Do you know what? A star has walked into the studio. Hallelujah! Absolutely fantastic. Thank and you, you know what? You're beautiful and you've got talent to match. And that is a real, real rarity. Yeah. I think wow. you're going to be a big star and I hope it's going to be in my show. You could be Maria. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Siobhan takes the 13th place at Maria School. So what exactly is Maria School? Well, quite simply, it's a tough, no-nonsense, work-hard, no-play nightmare. Welcome to Maria School. Here we go. Go in the garden for ten minutes, sort it out. I've had to be tough. Last chance. They need to sing like they've never sung before. I'm going to throw up. If the girls think the pressure has been on so far, next week at Maria School it's only going to get tougher as they're pushed to their limits in singing and acting. I we'll had to see um, from the minute they walk in the room, the minute that they start singing, what their potential is. Up your game, up your ante, yeah? The panel's job is to make sure the girls are up to taking on the biggest job in showbiz. Now I'm beginning to, you know, genuinely get concerned. Even golden girl Siobhan struggles when her voice fails to hit the mark. Uh, I don't think, to be honest, I, I can't... I can't see them putting a chance on somebody who can't even sing. That's my honest opinion. Over the next three days, the tutors and David and I will be monitoring you extremely closely. The panel's decision is final. 50 girls will go to Maria School. Only 20 will survive. Will Siobhan be one of them? Next. It's now five hours into the auditions, and worryingly, the panel have only put 15 girls through to Maria School. Hoping to take the next place is 17-year-old Bryony, an A-level student from Seaford in Sussex. She was rejected at the regional auditions for being too nervous, but she wasn't prepared to walk away just yet. So now, uh, Bryony, you auditioned not once but twice. Yes. Um, yeah, because I didn't get in first time, so I went again. I just thought I'd have another go just in case. And what was the difference between the first one and the second one? Why did you get through the second time? Um, I changed my hair, but that's probably not the reason. I did, I changed and then... You changed? My, no, just my clothes and my hair. And second time around, it was as if the spirit of Maria was with her. We're quite similar in lots of ways. So what are your similarities? That we both really like children and she sings outside and I often sing when I'm walking down to work and um, she fancies Chris to a plumber and so do I a lot. Um, I think I'd be a hard-working Maria. Slightly exasperating maybe because I'm a bit disorganised sometimes. <laughs> I wouldn't mind about the, all the late nights or anything like that because you know, you're being Maria. Can I do do re me? Yes, you can do whatever you like. Please. Go on. Okay. okay. Um, I'm saying. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. 
When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, I think re, singing me. for Andrew Lloyd Webber would be good, me, um, re, but frightening. He, he must like singing and musicals and stuff, so I guess you have to give the same to everyone you sing or perform to, so singing to Andrew Lloyd Webber should be like singing to your granddad or your dog, or although obviously, oh dear, although obviously Andrew Lloyd Webber is very important in comparison to my dog. <laughs> okay, we'll take a risk. We'll see you again in two weeks' time. Are you sure? I think we are. All right then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, see you. Take care. Okay. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Okay. <laughs> So, by the skin of her teeth, she made it through. But now, with Mom nervously watching, she's got to face the panel. Hello, Bryony. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good. You, you needed to think about that for a moment, didn't you? You went, <laughs> fine. Fine, thank you. <laughs> you think you're fine. Yeah, well, definitely. we hope you are fine. I think you know or you've learned Doe a Deer. Let's go great yeah. Face. Yeah, just take a moment. Do me 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 so so re fa fa la ti ti. Do me 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 so so re fa fa la ti ti. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Okay, yeah, Bryony, well done. I think you were a bit nervous, weren't you? Very nervous. Bit wobbly, bit, bit nervous. Wobbly, uh, nervous. Uh, for me, those nerves were really, really showing. Was Bryony too nervous for you, Zoe? Yes, she was, unfortunately. Uh, all the ends of your notes disappeared, and so did my confidence in you with it. Uh, Bryony's face, I think, again, she looks great. Beautiful smile, beautiful eyes, very expressive. Uh, the only thing for me, Bryony, would be that, like I've said many a time to many a girl, that it's nervous when you walk out on stage and you have to be able to hide that. Yeah. It's a no for me, I'm afraid. Okay, that's Next. Fine. Thank you. Thank you, Bryony. Like in The Sound of Music, she says, when God closes a door, he opens a window. So, you know, there'll be a window open somewhere, won't there? You are officially the sweetest person <laughs> I've met all day. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andrew is not happy. He's desperate to keep tabs on his panel of judges and the choices they are making. But his overwhelming workload is holding him back. Hello, hi. That's fine. No, um, what are we doing about uh, flights over to Vegas? The question, I think, is, re is whether or not I drop down to New York afterwards, you see. Whilst the King of Cats is away, the mice are most definitely playing. OK, great. Bye-bye. Andrew's work commitments are keeping him dangerously out of the loop, and he has no idea what his hand-picked team is up to. There's a land that I heard of... Um... I think there's potential. I disagree. And I think, you know, maybe you'd, great, you'd be great for amateur dramatics, but certainly not for the Palladium. I, I don't think you're Maria. Vocally for me, no for Maria. For me, lovely looking girl and, and uh, a lot of potential, but for Maria, it's a no. You're just not ready for Maria, honey, that's all. It's a huge role. I can do it, I know I can do it. I just want the chance. Carla, the honest truth is, I've seen better than you. So I'm not going to put you through on this occasion, I'm sorry. Um, you're not going to be Maria. Right now, today, you're not Maria. You're not Maria. Next. She said I no potential. Really good. I said I weren't good enough. Oh, all right. You went horrible that day, don't you? <laughs> Why was Zoe so horrible? I don't know, I'm not... I'm not, like, gonna go commit suicide or anything. I just, <laughs> I just really, I, I really wanted it. That's, yeah. all, that's all it is. And you're nervous and emotional. But there are some girls that just won't take no for an answer. Girls like Bryony. Do you think if I lost all the nerves, I could make up one of the extra ten at the end of the day? Do you think they'd let me have one more go? 
I'd like them to. Because Maria didn't get it first. I did. She went back to the Abbey and then went back. And I know I've kind of already done that, but again. Okay. You were trying to open that window, are you? Yeah, window, yeah. You've shut that door. You're opening the window. Because I feel so much better now. Okay, this will officially ask. Okay, thanks, I'll be back. I'll still spend a penny anyway. Okay. <laughs> You're not Maria. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Next. The panel are struggling to find talent with all the qualities that Andrew is looking for. Could Kirsty be Maria? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Dear me, Mia. I'm glad that I didn't wear the shoes now. Wear your shoes, love. Oh, I thought I was going to trip on them on the way out, so I decided not to wear them instead. Oh. When Kirsty first arrived at the national auditions in May, the casting directors couldn't help but be reminded that Andrew was looking for a clown. I've never seen The Sound of Music before, ever. I've learnt that Julie Andrews is Mary Poppins. Apparently she's a really great singer, a very good actress, and you have to be really... Well, all the girls are saying you have to put a really lot of expression into things, so see what happens. There's a little ditty they're singing in the city, especially when they think that nobody can hear. If you've got the patience for your imaginations, they'll tell you just exactly what you want to hear. Well, we have made a decision, Kirsty. And we would like to invite you to London. <laughs> Now, with her big chance in front of the panel, Kirsty has brought along a bizarre prop to try and win over the judges. Okay. What do you have in your yeah. hand? This, I'm sorry, people think that this is a voodoo doll. I made Fagin to concentrate with, so I could dance in my room. And I was meant to bring Bill Sykes, but his arm fell off. <laughs> no. I'm so glad you asked that, John. Yes. That, that, that was really helpful. Just in case you were wondering. All right, Kirsty, uh, um, papa, in your own time. There's a little ditty they're singing in the city, especially when they've been on the gin or the beer. If you've got the patience, then your imaginations will tell you just exactly what you want to hear. Um, Papa. Chelsea, hold it. Can I ask you to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow if I give you the starty note just so I can hear your soprano? I've never had any vocal training. No, it's fine. Is that That's all right? Yeah. yeah, so if I, sing, if I say to you, sing Somewhere. And then take it from there. And me on time? <clears throat> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. That all right? A bit higher. Oh, oh sorry. Somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, sorry. Bit of nerves getting in there. It's all these lights. That's enough for me. Oh. And you've got a great face, because I'm watching you on the monitor. Even looking at me right now, you're intriguing to watch. And I'd like you to get rid of that kind of silliness. Oh, I can't. Don't, if you no, let me. No, oh. hold on a second. Just listen to me. Don't freak out like that. Try to take a note on board here, OK? Because this is a big deal, what you're, what you're doing here. Come back and be a little more serious, OK? And try something, because I think you're hiding behind that humor. And we're not getting to see the real Kirsty. OK. Go away. Come back in a little while and show us Kirsty the grown up. Okay, thank you. And wear your shoes when you come back. Okay. Kirsty. Good Kirsty. Graham. Kirstie. What's the story? Graham, the one that wants me to be more serious. Well, now, did I tell you that they might they might think you weren't quite serious? Oh, yes, that I out? know, I know. You should have listened to me. I'm going to try. I think my nerves got the better Do you get, of me. My... I thought your nerves got the better of you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get another go? Yes. So you're going to coach with David? Yes. Have you? Okay, let's go find oh, him. Okay. He's up here. Come with me. Oh, well, that's very good. Okay. You get a second chance. The panel are convinced they are finding the right girls for Andrew. But while Kirsty tries to get in touch with her more serious side, Andrew has no problem getting in touch with his. Before an important trip to Las Vegas, he keeps tabs on the panel's progress, watching tapes of their hunt for his Maria. He's paranoid that they've sent home a future star and that some of their choices for Maria's school are way off the mark. 
Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's dandy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud of rain on my parade. I like you vocally. I do. I feel like I'm looking at a friend of mine, a Miss Fern Britton look-alike. I don't really? Yeah, yeah, no, facially, facially you, you are... look like Fern Britton. Hi, Samantha. Same tan as David. I'll snap my fingers to show I don't care. I'll buy me a brand new dress to wear. I'll scrub my neck and Sam, I'll... Sam, Sam. Huh? That was great. Cleto, who won't care if you come to me? Tired and overworked, I won't burn be. You sold that, girl. You sold that. That was fun. You stitched that up and you put it away. David, it's your call. Your call, Mr. Producer, Mr. Four Million in the Bank to go on the show. No, I'm going to send you to Maria's school. Yes! It could be Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Unaware of Andrew's growing concern, the panel push on with the search, and 35 girls have now gone through to Maria's school. They know he's looking for a Maria with a wild child spirit. But while some of the girls had the right look, they didn't quite have the right voice. <coughs> Sorry, let me clear my throat. <coughs> the... oh, I'm sorry, can I have some water? Is that okay? You can Anastasia. Anastasia. So Anastasia. You can't do it, I. It's not the right it could voice. Be in a different key, though. It's not no. the right voice for Maria. You're not Maria. Next time you should audition for Chicago or something like that so I can have a part in low, sexy, husky voice, not sweet, innocent, bleeding marine. Next. What does all this mean for Zoe, a 31-year-old mum of three, also blessed with a husky tone? Hi, Zoe. How are you doing? All right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're great. Comfy. When she first auditioned, her voice was thought to be too cabaret. I've never, in my life, I've never had a singing lesson. I've never had any, like, speech coaching or anything like that, no. I've just got a husky voice, I think. Just sounds like I drink whiskey and smoke 40 fags a day. <laughs> After some coaching, the casting director felt she had real talent. OK, here you go. Breathe. Feed the birds. That's, that's no, a Keep going, keep going. You're doing well. Tap on, so bad. Tap on, tap on. Now, wasn't that beautiful? I don't normally sing like that, so it seemed funny to me, but yeah. But now it's for the panel to decide if she has real potential. How do you find your high register? I'll be dead straight with you. Yeah. I, I'm not a soprano at all, and I understand that's what you've been looking for today. Well, not just a soprano. You, you, we need an element Higher. of soprano voice that maybe yeah. I can stretch. I'll tell you what. Um, this is, I like this one. This is um, bet middle of the road. Shall I give it a go? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be really brutally honest. Yeah. I think you, you know, you look absolutely gorgeous, but I think you might be a bit old for the way we're going to cast this Maria. <laughs> and what those, so what that song's doing, is is helping us to believe that you're older because it's smoky, sexy. I want to hear light, young, fresh. I don't think I've got a high. We'll try. The hills are alive. It's all I want. Just try it. Five words, love. You can do it. The hills are alive with the sound of music. You didn't do it in your head, but we just said it still we sounded still, great. We still lo love you. I, I say yes. Put us through. Put us through. Something about you that I love. I don't think I'm a Maria, Maria myself, to be dead fair. I think you can do her. more than, you, than you're saying that you can do. I just think there's a little bit of an insecurity there that we need to knock out of you. What concerns me is that you've just said you don't think you're Maria. Well, if you or anybody else ever gave me the opportunity to become a character, I would become that character. You can I tell. promise you, you can that. tell that. But I'm just being dead honest with you. I'm 31. I'm not like a young buck, you know. So I'm just being dead honest with you. I love you. <laughs> you don't believe you can do it. 
You're going to hate me for this. Go on. I think I'm going to make you go to Maria's school. You're through to the next round. You could be Maria. Well done. So, against all odds, the panel have sent Zoe onwards and upwards. But only time will tell if her voice can stand up to the challenge of Maria's school. And, of course, if Andrew agrees. Some say love, it is a river. Backstage, Andrew's casting director is working with 19-year-old Kirsty. That's great. Now, where are your shoes? Oh, they're next door. I think you ought to wear your shoes. This is going to help. Do you want me to go and get them? Yeah. Yeah, Thank sure, you. sure, sure. Two hours ago, the panel felt she was way too flippity jibbity and wanted to see a calmer performance. When you start to breathe, where do you all, where does it all come, come from? That's no real good. You've got to put your voice, we you need it all down from here. This is real basics. Okay. So you take a deep breath. It won't be easy. You'll think it's strange. Breathe. Breathe. When I try to explain how I feel, that I still need your love after all I have done. Stop. Don't make it too poppy. All of a sudden, you go into this poppy thing okay, again. Oh, 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 it all goes a bit... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But will this be enough to convince it? the panel? You feel you're doing it? Yep. Hello. Hey, Hello. You're back, Kirsty. Yes. Back. And no Fagan. No, no Fagan no this time. And, no. and, and with shoes. shoes. OK, Kirsty. In your own time. It won't be easy, you'll think it's strange When I try to explain how I feel That I still need your love after all I have done You won't believe me All you will see is the girl you once knew Although she's dressed up to the nines at six. Okay, Kirsty. Kirsty. Great. First of all, I got to say you came back and did exactly what we asked you to do. And we lost the comedy, and we saw the serious you, John. I I, I commend you for doing that because I thought you were going to come back and not be able to do it, and you've proved me wrong. Can I ask you a question? Do you honestly answer me honestly? Think that you are Maria, and you can hold that show? for a year at the London Palladium every single night. I Vocally, do you think you're strong enough to do that, as I you are now? Not as I am now, but with the correct training, I think I really could be. I know that it's in, it some, in me somewhere, do you know what I mean? OK, if you want to go and train to be in musical theatre, go for it, because I think you're fabulous. You're not Maria. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Meanwhile, over in the Lloyd Webber Ivory Towers, there is most definitely a storm brewing, and Kirsty is about to get swept up in it. There's no chill, and yet I shiver. I'm going to call you back. You could be Maria. Oh, Papa, Papa, that's how it goes. Um, Papa, um, Papa, everyone knows. She's got such fun. I mean, she's so amusing. I can believe her up that tree, or oh, can't we hear her do soprano? Have we got her doing any soprano anywhere? You're not Maria. I'm not putting you through. I'm sorry. Back in the studio, and the panel think their job is done. After 12 hours, they've chosen their final 50 Marias. But they hadn't reckoned on Bryony. I could just sing like the first one in the hills of life to sound music, and if they said no, I would leave them in peace properly. properly. If they said yes, then I would, you know, not. <laughs> I can see it now. David Ian's going to get in his car and be driving away. He'll <laughs> pop up in the back seat going to think. Oh, hello. Hello. You're back. I'm back. What are you oh, doing here? Oh, I thought here? you were done. Why are you back? Because earlier on you said you didn't think 
that with my nerves you could trust me and I think that I, I could be trustworthy and I wanted to prove oh, to you that I'm, I could be trustworthy. I'm sure you're a trustworthy person. Yeah. All I'd have meant was, I you mean, know, are those nerves going to destroy that performance, you know, in front of 2,000 people? No, they, they mustn't. They mustn't? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they mustn't. They mustn't destroy you. No. All right, then. Um, you just want to do your song again? Yeah. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. All right, then. Okay. Off you go. Take off my shoes. Oh, yeah, shoes yeah. off. <laughs> Can I trust that voice? Do 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 do. A deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Far, a long, long way to run. Saw a needle pulling thread, la a note to follow. So, tea a drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to do oh 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 oh. So do. <laughs> I've been going on about funny is good and Maria's funny. She makes the children laugh in the show all the time. There's a clown about Maria. I keep saying that. There's an old-fashioned word in the script, a flibbity gibbet. A will um, of a wisp. A, a will of a wisp. A clown. A clown. And I, just, I think you're a bit of a clown in the <laughs> nicest possible way. Now, I've got quite big feet like clowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic! You've got quite big Oh, change my mind. <laughs> I need some humour sure. in the school. I think clowns have got big shoes. I, I never knew that they had big feet underneath. They're real, those feet, are they? With clowns, that's fantastic. <laughs> Zoe, do you think that you could improve that voice? Because joking and clown behaviour apart, there's a lot of work to be done vocally. Yeah. Bryony. One more time for me, the hills are alive with the sound of music. OK, tell you what, can I... What? Well, no, I was thinking, <laughs> maybe I could walk in from there like this is walking... Maybe you could. Yeah, yeah OK. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, what, what notes? <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive! The hills! You know okay. what, just open yourself up. <laughs> don't fall up the step, though, with those big feet. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Question for you, okay? Tell me why I should take you to Maria's school. Because Maria loves being with people and helping people and making people happy and feel good and I genuinely love doing that and uh, and she's a, a really hard worker and, and I'd work really hard for you. That's two. Oh, okay. Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> David. Oh she made me cry. She made me cry. I had a nice list here. It was all worked out. It was exactly right and then you come along and you ruin my list. See you at Maria School. Fantastic. Yay! Yay! Woo! Oh. 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 So Bryony makes it as the 51st Maria. But Andrew is not convinced they are the right Maria's. I think on the whole, a little samey. 
I would like to still look at some of the other girls who we've been uh, auditioning and see if there were perhaps three or four who could give it just a little bit more sparkle because I would like to find somebody who makes me go, Ooh, that's different. I'd just like to have one more trawl. I'm sure in there, there is my Maria. I'm sure of it. The next day, back at his country estate, Andrew thinks the panel have made a mistake and he's determined to put it right. He's going to bring back some of the girls the panel have rejected. Once again, he takes matters into his own hands. Hello? Hi, is that Lucy? It is, yes. It's Andrew Lloyd Webber here. <gasps> oh my goodness, hello! Hi. How lovely. Hi, is that Rianne? Yes, it is. Hi, it's Andrew Lloyd Webber. <gasps> really? How are I'm you? Okay. I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Hello. Kimberly. It, Hello. It's Andrew Lloyd Webber here. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Is that Kirsty? Who's this? Hi, it's Andrew Lloyd Webber. No, it is not. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Webber, I'm crying. Mummy, it's Andrew Lloyd Webber on the Yes. Now, I've just so seen a recording of you auditioning for the BBC for the Maria programme. Okay. And I was very impressed with yours. So I want to ask you, what are you going to do next week? Do you know what you're doing? No, sir, I have no idea what I am doing because I am living on God's good humour here, to be honest. Um, I'm going to be in a dorm. <laughs> Can you come down to our Maria school? Because I'd like to see you there. <gasps> oh, thank you, that's wonderful! <laughs> oh, my God, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Would you like to come to our Maria school next week? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And I think that if you really apply yourself and don't let me down and work with some of the great teachers we've got, you could really go through get me working with you. Oh my god, Mr. Weber, I will work as hard as you want. I really will. I can hear you've got very good top notes, but we oh. want to know what, <laughs> what your acting's going to be like, and we want to know what your dancing's going to be like, and we want to know whether you could be our Maria. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. All right, then, see you. OK, look forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, my goodness. Wasn't that wonderful? Yeah. So, 51 Marias have now become 55, and the panel don't even know. I can't believe that. My God. <laughs> By the end of next week, only ten Marias will remain, and then it's up to you to decide who gets the biggest job in showbiz. <laughs> Welcome to Maria School. Next week, the pressure is on for the girls and the panel as Andrew drops his bombshell on Maria School. I thought we'd perhaps missed four and I brought those four with me today. Do we even stand a chance now? He's already picked He's who he likes. What, what, why are we even here? Zoe gets even tougher. Sing in tune, for God's sake. Up your game, up your ante. So you're saying that I'm, like, stuck up or vain or... No. Or... There's going to be a lot of sobbing this afternoon. A lot, a lot of sobbing. <laughs> and David and Andrew battle it out to pick the final ten. And she dissed him a bit, which I love. But you know what? <laughs> that means she's got she balls that. and Maria's got balls. Who will make it through to face the viewer vote? This is where it really, really gets tough. Everybody put our hand on the one that we want to go through. <laughs> Touch the one you want to keep. Ah!